Hey friend, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new here. I am Crystal and I would love it if you would subscribe. If you could tell from the title of the video, this is going to be a get ready with me using all items from Shop My Stash. I actually really love how the look turned out. I am calling it Pinker Bell, okay? Because I am a Southern Belle and we got all pink. So instead of Tinker Bell, Pinker Bell and... I am loving it. So if you want to see how I came up with this look, then keep watching. Okay, friend, we are just going to jump right in. I am already started out with a moisturized face. And I was going to go in with the hydrating primer. But since I did put on the Bobbi Brown moisturizing primer, um, I think I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. So again, all these products are items from Shop My Stash. So I'm excited about trying new products that's been in my stash forever and I have not tried. And this is definitely one of them. It is the All Nighter Face Primer. It says it's a long wear foundation grip and it preps, smooths, and perfects your foundation. So this is what it looks like. We are just going to give it a go. I do like um, the packaging and that it has a pump so I like that so far so good um, it is a white consistency and I definitely want to make sure I put it in the areas where I got all these pores okay. <laughs> While we're waiting on the primer to do its thing, I am going to show you the foundation and concealer that I'm using. I will be using the KVD Good Apple Foundation. I do have it in the color 10068. I have had this in my collection for quite a while. I have not tried it. I just swatched it and I'm not sure what this color is going to look like. It's looking like it may be a little bit too orange, but we shall see a lot of foundations that i have in my collection are all orange and it's because i'm a neutral undertone i have a hard time picking my foundation shade however we're just gonna see if we can fix it with these concealers the two concealers that i pulled out is the stay naked correcting concealer and it's in 60 in in and that's what it looks like sorry for the glare and then also the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer. And I have it in 34.5. So we're going to go in, do the foundation first. little orange but we're just going to trust the process and see if we can fix it with concealer so I am going to go in with the Sephora best skin first just so I can see what color it is okay this color may be okay we're, let's we're just gonna go in with this one <laughs> This concealer has really helped with the foundation shade. What do you think, friend? I think it may be okay. I definitely think I'm going to have to set this foundation. For the setting powder, I did pull out the Morphe Banana Rich. And this is what it looks like.
I actually really like this setting powder. I think it looks pretty good now we're going to move into brows i do not know how this is going to turn out okay this is what i'm going to use for my brows it is like a liquid brow gel it's from a company called um malibu glitz and it's just a liquid eyebrow gel so we're just going to see how it turns out i'm going to put a little bit in my hand and kind of dip from it just to make sure I don't do too much. So wish me luck, friend. I don't really know how this gonna turn out. So let's just see. I'm gonna go in with this really fine tip um, brush just to make sure I, um, you know, have control of the situation because I, I don't really know. brows turned out cute after all I think they are okay we are just going to leave them there what do you think friend okay it just take a light hand and I think they are okay they don't look too harsh okay we are we are doing good uh bronzer let's go in with bronzer let's pull out this L'Oreal infallible bronzer and it's in the shade dark 500 dark so we're just going to bronze up a bit. that bronzer let's kind of blend it out on the forehead just a little bit and then let's try this nose okay sometimes this nose be cute sometimes it don't so let's just see I think the nose turned out okay today Someday it be a good nose day. Sometime it don't be, but I think it turned out cute, cute, cute. Now let's go in with a blush. Okay, so this could ruin the whole look. Hopefully it does not. This is the Fenty Beauty Blush, and I have it in Peony Dropper or Malibu Booze or what is it, Malibu's. And I'm not sure which color I want to go in with. Um, mm, I think for the safe side, we're going to go in with this darker color. Yeah, let's go in with the, the darker one. very cute i like this blush i think it looks cute i am just gonna go in a little bit with my sponge just to make sure it's pressed in there good oh we are blushing we are blushing okay so cute so cute okay let's just keep going um i think i need to set my whole face and um i am not sure if this color or this color is going to be what i need these are the maybelline superstay full coverage 
powders and I probably should have went in with this before I did my blush and bronzer but I just feel like I need a little bit something um all over the face so let's just put a little bit of this and we'll see to move on to eyes and before I do the eyeshadow I do want to go in with the eye primer I did pick out this Lorac behind the scenes eye primer from my stash so we're gonna go in with this and then and palette I really wanted some pink girly colors to go with the blush so this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm going with all those pink colors are gorgeous so gorgeous this is the Violet Voss rosé party and yeah i think it's going to be a very pretty soft girly look that's what i'm going for we're just gonna have to see okay <laughs> friend i am still getting used to using eyeshadow primer and i feel like this is a whole lot so oh i don't know um uh, yeah i don't know <laughs> oh my goodness this is a whole lot okay um for sure i need to set the eyeshadow primer and um i don't have a transition shade in this palette so um i'm gonna go in with the powders and i think i'm gonna go in with um, i was thinking the darker of the two this is in coconut let me just swatch it and see what I think about it. Mm, you can't really see it there, so it may be a good transition color. We'll just go with that and see what we think about it. Um, I'm just gonna like put it in the transition area just so it won't look so bad. <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's just let's just keep going. Okay, I feel like that made it look a little bit better. So now I am not freaking out as much. Um, but okay, um, let me decide what colors I am going to go in with. Um, I think I want to do a light pink. And then kind of do the crease area with the darker pink. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, but we're just going to see. I'm going to go in with this very light pink color right here. And we'll see what, what happens. not really giving what i wanted to give i think i need a different type of brush to pack it on with so let me find a packing brush that way i can like pack it on because it's not it's not really doing what i want it to do so let's try a different brush okay maybe it's the brush and let's just see was definitely better but I think I want like a darker pink so I'm gonna go in with this pink here and see if it's giving me the pink that I want okay I want it real girly real girly and pink okay and bright so let's just see <laughs> is better more like what i was going for but 
I feel like I still need to do a little bit more blending and then maybe go up a little higher. I don't know. Um, I think I'm going to go up a little bit higher, but use a darker pink. So we're going to go in with this one. Friend, we are just experimenting, okay? If you are new to the channel, I'm just trying to learn how to do makeup. And um, yeah, so sometimes it be cute. Sometimes it don't. So let's just hope it's cute this time. I think that's better. I like that. I like that. Let's let's keep doing that. Okay. Now I feel like I need some type of shimmer. Like I just feel like it's all matte and I need like a shimmer. Don't you think I need a shimmer? Let me just get a different type of sponge and we're going to try to put a little shimmer on it, okay? Just a little bit. And um, let's watch, okay? Let's watch this one and this one. I'm going to swatch these two colors and then we'll decide which shimmer I want to go with. Oh, okay. I kind of like that one. What do you think, friend? I kind of like that one, but that one is a little bit intimidating too. So mm, let's just let's see. <laughs> with the eyes let's move on to lips and for the lip combo today I did pick out from my stash this ColourPop lippy pencil and it's in the color I heart this I heart this that's so cute and then the lip of choice is going to be this Fenty Beauty and it's in um, bubble bubble binge so let's see how this combo looks together <music> For a setting spray, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Mini Continuous Setting Spray. And we're going to shake it up and give it our spray. Okay, friend, this is what we are looking like. We're going to take our hair down and then come back with the final look. friend this is the final look i just wanted to talk a little bit about the products because i am loving how everything turned out the primer um it does say it preps smooths and perfects i definitely believe those claims i am looking smooth and you know perfected and all the foundation the foundation is this kvd good apple in the shade tan 068 the color is a little bit too dark for me and it's a little bit orange. Um, I do feel like I was able to make it work with concealer, but I also think that it oxidizes a little bit. It is still looking a little orange to me, but I am okay with it. Um, I think next time I will add a little bit more concealer because um, yeah, it oxidizes a little bit. The concealer, friend, let me tell you this, um, Sephora, this Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Concealer, I am absolutely in love with it. I think that the next Sephora sale, I'm going to get a couple of these because they normally are, what, 20, 30% off during the sale. 
I am in love with this. I'm definitely going to get a bunch of these. Okay, maybe not a bunch, maybe like three, but I'm just going to stock up on these. Okay, next the blush. I love the blush. Okay, you have to be careful with this blush because it is a cream blush, but I think that if you use the right type of brush with it, it will be okay. I use the e.l.f. stipple brush. I'm not sure if e.l.f. still makes a stipple brush, but any stipple brush, I think Morphe has one. Any stipple brush would do just so you can apply it and blend it out. Definitely, friend, get a stipple brush if you have cream products, blushes, bronzers, anything that's creamy. I think a stipple brush works best for me in my application. Um, the bronzer, I use the L'Oreal Infallible Bronzer in Dark. I actually like the bronzer. I didn't feel like it was too dark on my nose sometimes. The bronzers are a little bit too dark and oh that nose be a little bit too snatched but i think it turned out okay um and also for you know just bronzing up the face i feel like it was a really good color i am feeling a little bit um shiny and i think that um i'm gonna get really oily once i go outside so i will probably put a mattifying primer on now that i'm looking at it i am looking a little shiny so I probably need a mattifying primer with this, but it could be because I did a whole lot before I put on foundation. I put on a serum, a sunscreen, and a hydrating moisturizer. So I was really juicy, okay, before I put anything on my face. So I think that maybe I did a little bit too much. So I don't know um, what I think about that. I will probably try it again with a different primer and don't moisturize as much and see how that turns out. Eyeshadow palette. This is the Violet Voss eyeshadow palette. I actually love it and it gave me the pink that I was going for. I was wanting something pink and girly and flirty and I feel like I was able to achieve that especially once i added that little glitter that little glitter on the top just made it just pop and look so girly okay i think pinkerbell is the perfect name for this look okay? okay the powders the setting powder under the eye i went in with the morphe and it's in the color banana rich i think that it is the perfect yellow sometimes you can have banana powders that are too yellow and it kind of looks a little off on my skin because i have a neutral undertone but this one actually was okay i will definitely be using this again the setting powder that i used for the full face was this maybelline it is the super stay full coverage powder this is in the color golden caramel i feel like it was a really good color to set the face i do feel like i am looking a little shiny but i'm not oily that is the thing i'm not oily so i really think it is the serum that i put on my face before i did any foundation i did use the herbivore the prism serum i really think this may be why it could be coming off like a little shiny um but it's not it's not oily at all it's not it's, it's just this. I was already looking real glassy before I even put on foundation. So it's this. Um, I definitely don't like the matte look. So I am okay with looking a little dewy, if you will. The lip combo. Um, It's not really what I was thinking. It, it's a lot darker than I was wanting. But I think that it turned out okay. I was wanting a lighter pink and um, I think if I had a went with a lighter pink, it would have been competing with the eyes. And I think this one being a little bit darker than the eyes turned out okay. So it's not so matchy matchy. The little darker pink is okay. I'm okay with eyebrows. Okay, this was my first time trying a eyebrow gel in a tube like this. I think NYX makes one as well. I had never tried, but it turned out okay. I think the technique was to make sure you use the right brush. And because I use a really stiff, thin brush, I was able to kind of like draw them on perfectly. And I really didn't have to do much to the eyes. I think it turned out okay. It takes just a little bitty dot, okay? Don't put a lot because it can get real crazy, okay? Just a little bit. And then the setting spray. <laughs> 
everyone knows about the Morphe setting spray. Okay, Morphe just pull it all together. It's so misty and so light and just, it just makes everything just melt together. I did off camera add a little bit of highlight so you can see just a little bit there. I always forget to highlight, but I went ahead and did that off camera. But overall, I am loving the look. What do you think about it? Is it giving Pinker Bell? Is it giving girly and flirty? I think so. I think I achieved the look I was going for. If you like Get Ready With Me's, give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.